Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, welcome, my name is Mimi and I technically have a schedule but I fall off the wagon sometimes because I am just absolutely terrible at time management. Um, the past month or so has been really really hectic just in my personal life, work life and also like I get sick really easily, like way too easily to be completely honest. And yeah, so I haven't had time to really sit down and edit and voice over majority of the videos I have filmed. If you guys don't know, I am usually pretty good at filming them. It's the editing and the voiceover part that really just takes a toll out of me. And you know, for today's video, I am actually doing a my birthday week using this gorgeous kit uh, from Cake Pop Studio. I think this is like the perfect kit for this year because it's a quarantine birthday. And I actually didn't do anything for my birthday that was like super extravagant or anything like that. We did get a cake and I think we had, I actually don't remember what we did because it's been like literally two months, but it was a great time. It was really great because I got to reconnect with a lot of old friends. like. I don't know how like it happened but it just so happened to be on my birthday and it was just amazing and really sweet of my friends to get everybody together and like for my birthday basically um yeah so today let's talk about burnout and let's talk about how how your life has been going and how my life has been going um really i haven't been posting too much or been editing or filming because you know, the burnout is real. We're getting close to the end of the year. Work is a lot more stressful just because um, we have deadlines we need to meet before the year the year ends, like the yearly goals or the quarterly goals. So we've all been hustling hard to get all those things done. And so work has really piled up. And honestly, I am pretty burnt out because we have like back to back things to do that uh, we need to meet all these deadlines and it's not as relaxed as it was back in like the earlier part of the year because usually at the beginning of the year you're like oh let's calm down let the holidays sweep over us let's relax but then the end of the year we're like crunch time we need to get all of this done right before the holiday starts so yeah that's basically what i've been doing and how i've been feeling um and it's really hard to do the plan with me videos really often or maybe somebody could give me tips but i find that when i'm done especially with the whole situation going on i feel like i haven't had too many fun things to do too many too much time to for myself and to relax i believe when i actually started getting back into youtube it was a really great outlet and i was able to socialize with a lot of my friends and had a lot of fun and that really gave me a lot of energy and motivation to film these and have these memories but then um with the whole quarantine and recently i haven't done anything that's like super special i feel like my planner has been so empty and it's all been work 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 which makes it really hard to plan i don't know if you all know what i'm trying to say but Kind of rambling i am trying to get the voice over part of this which is generally the hardest part for me um but yeah i decided today i'm just gonna ch chat talk about burnout and how it's been going let me know in the comment section how you guys are all doing honestly one of the biggest things that kind of pushed me to redo this is first of all vlogmas is coming up next sunday so definitely stay tuned for that um the very first video is a cloud video which i'm so excited for like i am stoked but yeah not just that it's also the fact that black friday just happened and i went on a spending spree it was exciting it was fun i i have all these new stickers that i'm so excited to start using in my planner so it really gave me that little boost of energy that i needed and i really want to do vlogmas um so this year vlogmas is going to have a whole lot of videos lined up and I already have like a schedule of things that I wanted to do and I have a handful of videos already already recorded but basically it will be split between miscellaneous kind of like my Wednesday videos between like planner setup and like my budgeting video or how I'm going to edit my videos things like that and then we have the catch up plan with me videos because as you can see here I am in October and I want to be two weeks behind by the time vlogmas ends um, which should make it be like, I'm like looking at my calendar, be like week 52, no not 52, like 53 or something like that. Well, that is definitely not supposed to be week 53, it's supposed to be like week 50 or something like that. 
but yeah that's kind of like what I am planning to do so we will be catching up on all of the vlogmas videos or all of the planning with me videos that I have been slacking on and we also have a mix of like fun videos that are more like my Wednesday videos and yeah really excited about that. Um, I have the non-plan with me videos already done and I'll only that I think this week I also like filmed a bunch of advent calendar opening because I just I just can't like it was sitting on my desk and I was just like F it I'm not the kind of person to open it one once a day and be like and be content with it so I decided to be like F it open it tear it open get it on video and maybe help other people in the future make a decision on whether or not they want to buy from a specific store for their advent calendar or not um yeah so that's kind of like what i've been doing um just a lot of work which something i noticed in some of my plan with me is like i would write down things like grooming sessions pr or like in this clip uh that you're gonna see or you have already seen i say like fix photo code but then all of those things feel like very like related to my shop sometimes and i'm like i swear to you guys it's not um I work in engineering or like um, computer development, software development, and the phrases we use are kind of interesting, like PR is a pull request, um, and then we have grooming, which sounds really weird, but we are basically going over stories, we call them stories, but they're basically tasks, we go over tasks that we need to do, and then every morning we have um, stand-up, <laughs> which is really funny because you guys probably see me like write it in my planner from time to time that oh we have stand up at 10 a.m um i'm not actually standing up for anything even though that's where the root of the word comes from but basically it's a once a day we get together and we all talked about the task that we've done and update each other about all the tasks and then um we have planning and this is my favorite one because like as a planner person some of these words are just like so interchangeable that sometimes you guys are probably really, like planning um but no planning is i mean i guess okay it's technically planning the way that you would think it is but i'm not actually planning in my planner we're actually planning the task that we're going to do for the upcoming weeks so i always thought i always find it really funny when i have to write these things down because i'm like i feel like these can be applicable for the planner community or like it is applicable to the planner community and i i wonder if anybody ever like things that like when I'm writing these down I'm referring to like something else like the phrases to me makes no sense in an engineering or software de development context in terms of like I know them and I understand them just because I've been in I'm in the industry but like grooming like stories stand-up planning <laughs> the phrases are very fun um I gotta say and and relating to the plan planning and whenever I'm actually planning my planner and then writing these words down just make me kind of every time I think about it I'm just like hmm if somebody were to just like stumble upon my video and see this they'll probably think like this girl does planning like every every day or like or like why do I mark like stand up every day but with the tag that it's a meeting like it's, why do you need a meeting for stand up I don't know I just I just think it's kind of funny um yeah so also it's been like a wild month because apparently my um my apartment complex does inspection like apartment inspection like halfway through the year when you live there and we i basically had to move all of my stuff all around um just because they wanted to check the balcony like um so if you guys don't know we have a balcony but the way the whole house and the apartment comp apartment is positioned i want to get the most room for all my space and be able to use things so i actually blocked off the balcony like because i don't use the balcony to be completely honest it's very small you can't really do anything with it um so i block it off with like basically a long table so that we have a space to print and cut actually i'm sure you guys have seen it in my videos in my um like what are those called videos behind the scenes videos yeah which by the way another behind the scene video is coming up as part of vlogmas so get ready for that um so i block it off and as a part of their inspection they want to make sure the balcony is in tip top shape nothing's gonna fall apart so what we had to do was basically move everything in front of it out of the way but then so that my dog also does not knock it over and then 
it was just it was like a whole like week long ordeal thing and it was just it was just not fun it was just not fun and yeah that also really delayed my planning and my filming too just because then i don't have a filming setup because i had to move everything around in the sense that like things are blocking where i normally film so also not a very fun time honestly i think i think i just got fed up with filming the past month because i tried i tried so hard y'all to film like the what is it called i filmed the september plan with me and that one went really really terribly because some shots were not in the cut and then i don't know things were not positioned well i don't know what happened with that particular video but that video was supposed to go up and it didn't just because of how poorly it was shot and and then I also had multiple footage taken of the how I film my YouTube videos for Vlogmas and I overrode all of the videos. I don't know how because I was like taking taking multiple videos for multiple different perspectives to see which one I like the best and then I left it all on the flash drive or the memory card of my camera and i don't know what happened maybe i ran out of memory on it which is really strange because i think it was like 50 gigabytes or something or more um but anyways i filmed another video and then it over I, I actually filmed the september plan with me and i overrode those and i was livid i was just so upset i i was like i should have i could have just taken it out copied over onto my disc but i didn't and so that really like that was a really big bummer for like the entire that was basically my adventure for the entire month of november and it was just it was just not fun it was just not fun I, I don't know what else to say but looking back it was kind of like a fun memory which i really i i really really should have like thought it through right but i didn't and we live and we learn and hopefully none, none of that happens during any of the other vlogmas video footage um I have so many videos already prepared. I'm so excited for it. Um, yeah, and also uh, in my last video, I okay. I first of all, um, I really apologize if I have not replied to anybody in like a month. I don't think I've like been watching or talking or been, been like using YouTube as like a part of like a social interaction just because I was just so burnt out. I was tired. The only thing I ever did was and I was telling Anna this the organized melodio how like I would queue up people's video and then just have it playing on the background when I'm like dead exhausted and tired and sick and then I just I just have it there and I'm just zoning out half the time just because I was just so burnt out with the, the whole month of November. Like November you could just you could just leave. Um Oh, except for Black Friday. I think Black Friday, Thanksgiving was great. Um, but yeah, other than that, you could just leave. And so, again, referring back to the old video, and this is a kind of new to me, um, plan with me style, where I'm just talking and I'm trying to have a casual conversation with y'all. So I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I know some people will like this and some people won't. I'm gonna try out different conversation topics from time to time, but sometimes I will just have a sit down chat like this and I hope you guys enjoy that. But basically, I cannot keep a one track mind. Wow, um, what I was trying to say is that in the previous video, I was listing out some of underrated YouTubers or YouTubers, small YouTubers that I really enjoy and I love watching. And the feedback on it was amazing. I am so blessed for everybody who has put down all of their YouTube information. If they have a small one, I was able to find more YouTube channels that way as well. But I think something that I'm going to start doing in the future, maybe like t not twice a month, um, every other month, is to have a similar series so that I could highlight some of the smaller YouTubers um, in, on the platform. And I'm not, I'm not large by any means, right? But I think it's nice to give recognition to these YouTubers that are are on the platform and we all know how hard the algorithm is to get pop it off so you know any help i could do is just uh any help that i can give i want to give but anyways we are wrapping up with the video i think i don't know um i have i have the video playing in the background while i'm voicing over so i hope it syncs up more or less but that's all i have to really talk about today it was kind of rambly I definitely repeated things like multiple times because it's 2.30 in the morning. Um, is, is, is it ever like 
y'all, I think a part of the problem that I have with my overexhaustion and everything like that is because I'm a night owl and my work makes me a night owl as well, so I feel like I'm always overly exhausted. But with that, this is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and make sure to comment down below how your week has been doing or if you're looking forward to Christmas or anything like that or the holidays. And I will see you all probably on Wednesday for all of my advent calendar opening and I will see you then. Bye!